how do you judge a tattoo? What is a bad tattoo and what is a good tattoo? What makes a good tattoo artist? I'm gonna tell you three ways how you can judge a tattoo. There are a lot of tattoos out there and more and more are getting tattooed as we speak. Tattoos is a way to express yourself on your body, to show who you are. It's supposed to decorate your body. Why would you put something on your body that you wouldn't enjoy? I'm not the best artist in the world. I, I'm just an artist. Most of my entire life I've been drawing and painting and I do feel that art is a big part of my life. So to be able to put art on someone's body for the rest of their life, that's such an awesome job. But I just feel so sad. I do get those clients in and like, help me with this. Can you cover this up? And I need to cover that up. And so many of them are like, wow, how did you allow anyone to, to put this on your body? I understand those people that took those bad decisions if they were like super drunk or something but then again that those tattoo artists shouldn't have tattooed you when you were that drunk i just kind of want to make sure that you get the tattoos that you actually deserve and when you pay for an art that is going to be permanent on your body for the rest of your life it's there isn't it nice that it will actually make you feel better feel beautiful feel brand new and be excited and enjoy your tattoo and not be embarrassed about it. I'm wearing my glasses today because I just, I need to wear them more. Later in the video, I will show you my worst tattoo and my best tattoo. So stick around till the end and I will show you. Tattoos is art, but what is art? It's personal. Art is also sometimes weird. It can be provoking or it can just be plain, boring, just a symbol. It can mean something really personal to you or it can just be something very decorative and just something you liked. But no matter what, it's still a part of you and will be for the rest of your life. So how can you see that a tattoo is good or bad? I will divide it into three categories. Number one is educated skills. That means that the tattoo artist actually has education in some way. As an apprentice at a tattoo shop, they have gotten the skills from their own experience. And that's by just tattooing. And the more tattoos you make, the better you will become. I'm not saying that I would tattoo better than someone who has only tattooed for three years because I've seen those kind of amazing artists that has only been tattooing for like one or two or three years and they're like, whoa, out of this world. And I've been tattooing for 17 years and I'm not as, you know, I'm not half as good as they are. One big part of a good versus bad tattoo artist is if they're actually skilled. That means solid, straight, good lines, solid, flat, bright colors, or super smooth and big advanced shading techniques. Because like in art and music, tattoos also has its history. And for tattoo artists to know enough about that history to respect the business and to know and want to learn the basics and theory in tattooing, that has so much to do if you're a good artist or not. It's not everything, but it is a big part of it. And to paint a big, beautiful painting, you need to know some basic theory and color circles, contrasts, you know, opposing colors and all of that stuff. It's, it's really good to know. It's not super necessary. You can make art without it, but that's another category. And that category is artistic talent. Some people are just born with that talent that makes them just so artistic. Everything they do turns into art, like musicians or artists or tattoo artists. It's if you're a painter or a piano player, you just can just hear or see that talent streaming out of this person, probably born with most of it. Uh, during their childhood and youth, they build up more of this talent by exploring it and feeding the talent. So the tattooing techniques, they're not enough. You need some of this talent to be able to be a good artist. 
if a tattoo artist is not quite good at drawing, then I don't see those tattoos as beautiful. I'm sorry. Most of those tattoos become just a copy of something else. Think about those big names in music. Who is that right now? What's the first thing you think about? Do you don't think that that person has talent? Or is it just skills? Is it just an educated person with experience? Or maybe it's both. I think it's both. And the last category is your own personal taste. Because yes, tattoos can be ugly at the same time as they are great artistically wise. You know, the artist is talented. They have done an amazing job professionally and uh, with the correct technique, but it's just something that you don't like. If you don't like that tattoo, it looks bad for you. So taste, personal taste is also a big judgment when you judge a tattoo. If you see a big Japanese back piece with a dragon and a lotus flower, but you're like, eh, I'm not that into dragons or Japanese, then that tattoo is not gonna be very beautiful to you. You're not gonna think that that's so awesome and you're gonna like another tattoo better because it's more of your taste. Basically, it's your own personal taste that decides if you like a tattoo or not at the end. And many artists does these kind of new artistic twists on the new styles and there are so many different things. So you have to see yourself what you like or don't like. So, and to do as I promised, I want to show you my worst tattoo, which is this piece right here. I, it's on my ankle. It is a self-portrait of my ex-boyfriend. He tattooed it on me. He's not a tattooer. This was the first and only time he ever touched a tattoo machine. So as you can see, he is not skilled. He is not talented and it's not really my taste. Therefore, <laughs> I would say it's the worst tattoo that I have. But why I haven't covered it up or removed it, it's just because it's a good memory. Yes, he's my ex-boyfriend, but he's also the father of my daughter. So yes, he actually still means something for me in a way. One of the tattoos that I'm most proud of looks awesome. It as uh, It's done by a tattoo artist that is very skilled and highly talented. And she's just also an amazing, cool girl. And she's super nice. And her name's Asin. She works in Stockholm at the moment. And I really love it. It's well done. It's clean and nice. And it healed perfectly. And yeah, skilled, talented, and my taste. I like it. I love it. So the question of the day is, what do you consider a really good tattoo? Please comment below because I really want to know. And remember to follow me on Instagram. I have my tattoo gallery account, which is Electric Linda. And I have my life account, which is all of the other stuff. It's electriclinda.life. So please check them out. If you like my video, you know what to do. There's a little thumbs up down there. You can click it and uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to, you can check out my blog, electriclinda.net. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you probably next time. Okay, bye-bye.